This is my newest Singer Model 237. It came from Vermont. And this is the one that I will more than likely put into the treadle cabinet. But right now I have it on a table with other electrics. And I'm kind of calling this uh, the electric table. I don't know why. But I have the four electrics on the table and I have two more behind me. But um, this one, and this is a common problem, I think, with sewing machines. When this one arrived, the type of stitching it was making, um, it was pulling the bobbin thread up too high. And if you look in any Singer manual, they will have instructions on how to get a balanced stitch. So this tension, upper tension, is at zero. And I had to tighten the tension on the bobbin case, which supposedly you're not supposed to have to do very often. And that gave me a balanced stitch. So I think there's more going on with the upper tension than I've seen so far. I did get it to stitch um, balanced stitches, but I want to work on this. And the other thing is, if you notice the light is on, and the switch on the top of the machine light is broken. So when I plug it in, the light automatically comes on. And that makes it, um, that's the second reason to have it be the better candidate to be the one that goes in the treadle. Because I would be taking off the external motor and the light and using it as a treadle machine. So um, let me just put the camera down and I'll show you how it does stitch. Now I have a purple upper thread and a beige lower thread. So many of these machines still sew wonderfully. So even with the, um, the tension issue, and I don't even know that I have to fiddle with it. I, I just, it's unusual for a, a machine to be at zero because then if you need more um, upper tension and you go to adjust it, I'm afraid I'm going to be pulling the bobbin thread up too high. So I'll fiddle with it a little bit. But even with that tension issue, that... Worst case scenario is I buy a new bobbin case for about $10 and I buy another tension unit for maybe 10 or 15 But before I even get to that, I can rebuild and reset the tension area and I can still adjust the bobbin case. So this is half of the fun sometimes is working on them after you get them. So I can't complain. Even with the tension being off a little bit, I can't complain. I think you can see that stitching. Zigzag and straight stitch. Now this one has, um, I'll show you the foot pedal, it's down there in wonderful condition, a brown metal foot pedal, vintage foot pedal by Singer. And so in that sense, it's almost a shame to um, not be able to use that kind of a foot pedal. But I think given that the light switch is broken, um, once I get the tension fixed, I think this will be the machine that ends up um, at least being tested out for a while in the treadle. And this is the Singer Model 237 with the very light beige paint and a gold colored um, face plate, not face plate, um, well, this is the face plate, but I, I don't know what they call that, um, front plate maybe, and then here's the other one, which is actually a darker uh, brown tan with the light beige front plate. And I think this one is newer. It's got the dropping feed dogs. So there they are. And I think out of the two, 
this one is probably going to end up in the treadle. And just as a point of reference, that is the foot pedal that is on the brown tan 237. And you can that's more modern looking than the other one, which is right there. So that's the difference in the foot pedal. So that more modern one is on um, the darker machine. And the older one is on the lighter machine. Singer model 237s.